Good morning, sunshines. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, happy Pink Wednesday. Um, so today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I know you guys, um, are used to Wednesdays. I always show my pink and girly content, um, which I still am. This is just going to kind of be a vlog because this is what I feel comfortable doing today because with everything that has been going on and transpiring in my personal life these past couple of days, I just wasn't prepared for today's video, but I do have content I would like to share and I have to give to you guys. So it's not going to stop. I still have work to do. You know, I still got emails to answer and, you know, collaborations and sponsorships I need to do. So I have to work. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be a little different. Um, I'm just sitting here, um, drinking well, waiting on my coffee to cool down. I think this is one of the very few Ray Dunn mugs I still have left. This is in the baby pink color. So I'm just waiting for the coffee to kind of cool down. But yeah, um, so today I'm just going to show you a little bit of what I picked up over the past weekend. Um, I want to go ahead and share with you guys my top six um, spring and summer fragrances that I will be rotating um, throughout that season. Um, go ahead and get it out the way because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about the decor. Y'all have been asking me uh, about which scent do you know I recommend, however. So I'm going to get that out the way. But if you guys want a real um, sit-down video, um, detailed video, leave me a comment down below. i try to get that out for you guys. So, yeah, um, and that's pretty much it. It's not going to be a long, long um, video today. Like I said, I'm still dealing with a lot of personal things that's been transpiring. Um, I want to say thank you to those who've given me encouragement and just had a lot of kind words um, to offer me um, in this difficult and unfortunate situation. I will be okay. Know that I will be okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I know I'm not the only one in the world who has dealt with the disrespect of family. Um, so I'm not looking for a pity party. However, um, it still hurts. You know, it still hurts that, you know, I have, I have to deal with this and I have to deal with it a lot. This is not the first um, time that this has had happened. Um, it's not the first time my family has not backed me up when they ha this has happened. I just look more so for like, hey, that's your mom. You know, don't do that, which you should think. He should already know not to do that, but just back me. You know, that's your mom. Don't do that. Well, okay, well, what did she do? Tell me what she did. Something in that sort because it just don't make sense. You just decide to wake up and want to be upset, but that's okay. It's other things that that hurted me. It's the things that you allowed. So I know you have allowed it to take it way too far, but yeah, enough of that. Like I said, I will be okay. This is a new day. Um... So, yeah, so today we're going to um, do a little little mini haul. I don't have much, but I'm excited about sharing it with you guys. If you're following me on Peak Madame, you probably have already seen it, um, as you should. If you're not following me on either one of my social media handles, uh, Live to Shine and Peak Madame, what are you waiting for? Like, that's where you see all the tea first. Then I'm come back and share with you guys. It's just easier that way. But, yeah, excuse the look. I do have other moo moves. This is just, like, my favorite so, if you see me um, in this moo, moo a lot, I just absolutely love it. It do be clean, y'all. So, don't be running around here thinking I'm wearing a dirty moo because I'm not. <laughs> but, yeah, this is just my favorite because it's made of this soft material. You know, most of the moo moos come in like that silky nylon material. And that's fine, but I be slipping out the bed. And, honey, I don't, which I don't wear this to bed, but if I just decide to get up, eat my breakfast, and maybe just lay across the bed, I, I still have this on, but I do have pajamas on up under here. This just kind of keeps me grounded, if you will. So, yeah, I don't, I have more than just this moo moo. I just like this one. And I'm hoping I can find more of this cotton because it's so soft, like. And, of course, this is my morning beauty look, honey, because I haven't combed my hair yet either, so. But, yeah, I'm going to get that little haul out to you guys. 
I'm going to show you what my top six fragrances is. And because I got that new one by Versace, I want to low-key throw it in the lineup. But it's not sitting on me yet. Like, I like it. But I don't know if I like it a lot to add it to my favorites. I'm, I'm going to show y'all my favorites. And what else I need to tell you guys? Mmm. -hmm. I got to get this vlog out to y'all today. So... Everything that's going on need that happens today because tomorrow's video going to start for Sunday. I have a eye doctor appointment tomorrow because I am excited. I'll be getting new frames. What else? I need to organize my sugar scrubs. I moved them from the bay cave back to the bathroom because I got tired of having to Get the hubby to try to pick out a fragrance for me and such. Or me wanting to use something that's not there and what I So, I moved that back. So, we'll see if we can get that all pushed in and crammed into this video um, today. But if not, I just at least wanted to have a video out for you guys. So, I'm going to talk to y'all in a minute after breakfast. Y'all, I thought I was about to eat my breakfast now. So the hubby decided he wanted to cook me breakfast, which he typically do anyways because he make like the best cheese grits and stuff. So there's just some things I just prefer him to cook. But y'all, I'm sitting up here like I'm at the Waffle House waiting on my order. I might as well go in the babe cave and go ahead and get started on sharing with you the fragrances. I know I'm looking a whole fool in the head. Don't judge me. Sir, will my order be ready in about 10, 15 minutes? I said, sir. Oh, said time. Well, I wouldn't have called you that. Huh? You would have called me that. Yeah, I see what I got to deal with. You going to burn up my pancakes. The pancakes already there. I got you. My pancakes gonna be cold. No. You got on my shirt. <laughs> yeah, he got on my shirt. Yeah, it is. Let me feel it. Is that shoot? What is that velvet? Ain't nobody calling you. Yeah, he got on my shirt. You gonna get enough? Put your stuff in my uh in my uh in my basket. Y'all, I'm almost finished with cleaning my room. I'm lying. I ain't finished cleaning this room. Y'all, there's stuff everywhere. I'm telling you, don't judge me. Let me pull these fragrances for y'all. So y'all can give y'all the tea. And I need to give y'all some light. Ooh, that, uh-uh, kitty. Uh-uh, I'm going to have to do the other like because that's a little better. It ain't as, plus it's gloomy outside. Y'all, I'm low-key still sleeping. I did not rest well at all. My mind kept racing. You know how you just overthink everything? I be overthinking work. I be overthinking personal stuff. I be overthinking just everything. So I did not get a lot of um no rest. I ended up having to take one of my special pills. I call them special pills, honey, because they were they are for people with vertigo. I have vertigo, and I had to take it. I don't get to take it often, but I had to take it last night because I was just all over the place. My head was just, oh, if you know anything about vertigo, then you already know. But, yeah. So, let me go over here and select which fragrances I think that I will be using through the spring and summer. Yeah. So, okay. So, I already know off the bat Miss Dior because, yeah, she she's be, she be giving. Um, and, oh, gee. Now, I should have put in a mix ones that's maybe for night as well. Because I love, I, oh my gosh, I'm gonna tell y'all about this. 
So that's three already. Mm. Y'all, I have so many to choose from. Okay. I do love my coach. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, and five already. Is that five, four? Yeah. Okay, which one would I probably reach for? It would have to be, I don't know. I want to try something different this year. I know I've used the Versace Bright Crystal a lot. I hope you guys can hear me. I used my Versace Bright Crystal a lot last year. And I want to use my Dolce & Gabbana. Okay, I think I'm going to, oh, uh, if I just had to choose, I'd do my Dolce & Gabbana. Because those are equally my favorite. The Dolce & Gabbana um, Rose and the Versace Bright Crystals. Okay, so here's fragrances that I'll probably be using. Because I try to just switch them up. And you guys, another tip I like to do is I try to only buy the smallest bottle available. So if the fragrance only come in like a one... 0.0 or 1.7 that's the smallest that's the one i go with because i have so many fragrances and i don't want them to get stale and expired so yeah okay so like i said if you want a detailed video of this i will put it in the work and get it out for you guys but this is going to go off of my preference and my nose so the first one is my gucci flora I got this bottle for my birthday like two years ago from the husband, and I absolutely love it. It is so light and pretty. Now, this is a, um, I can't see, so I apologize. This is, I want to say this is a 1.0 size bottle, and it has white gardenias in it, jasmine, and pure, pure bloom. I don't know that, but I will give y'all a full detail of all this, um, all these fragrances if y'all want, but I would be using this for the spring and summer because I absolutely love this. It's very light. It's very pretty. It's very feminine. Most of these fragrances I'm going to share with you are the reason why I chose it is because it's very light. And it's very feminine. They're either a toilet or a perfume. I'm okay using toilets because typically when I wear a toilet, I'm not going to be out long. Toilet is pretty much what I call the, the bottom of the toilet bowl. It's like the leftover fragrances, if you will. It's not as strong. It's not as potent as a perfume. And you typically have to refresh or layer it and layer it and layer it. So when I'm wearing a toilet, nine times out of ten... I'm not going to be out long, and it's just going to do what it do, and I'm going to come on back in. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so this is definitely one of my uh, favorites. It's very, let me, see, it's so soft and pretty and girly and feminine and floral. It's a little sweet, but not much, because I don't like nothing really, really sweet, like sugar sweet. I like grounded scents like bergamots patchouli's but for the daytime and hotter seasons i like scents like this which has that um gardenia in it and jasmine so this is number one our girl miss dior like she just you don't even have to do no introduction for her she just so pretty and you need this in your collection if you don't have this in your collection it just it's just it's such a pretty scent. It just reminds you that you are a woman, you know. Um, very light. Um, I think I received this for Christmas from the hubby. Yeah, I don't want to be spraying all these scents. And another um advice that I personally do, you know, how some people waved it. I don't wave it. I let it naturally dry down. I mean, sometimes I do find myself doing like that, and that's by accident because I don't do that. I just let it dry down. 
I just, it's just a pretty scent. So this is good. Either one of these are good for girls brunch, church on Sunday. Um, date, date with your mom. It's just such a pretty scent. So Miss Dior, I definitely recommend. And Old Faithful. Like she, she's just not a talked about scent. This is the um, coach dream she's just nobody talks about her and look at her bottle the top is like a flower so so pretty um this was a blind buy the hubby bought me this years ago maybe like three years ago very very soft very very pretty and floral um what can i what do i dislike about it she is a toilet that would have to be the only thing but they're pretty very light another one that you can wear for brunch um a nice scent when you go out around other people like a crowd of people because you know you don't want nothing too strong when you go out for me personally i don't know about nobody else but me personally i don't like to go out with nothing strong where people be like <coughs> what, what you got on i want them to gently smell me where they be like oh what does she have on that you know what i'm saying this would do it because it's, it's just a pretty like i said you're gonna hear me say pretty a lot but it's just pretty i like to feel pretty i like to you know smell like oh she got her shit together you know <laughs> I, that's probably a bad description but i just want people to know i'm a girly girl i'm feminine and yeah this is it she's very underrated but um, there's another one out. I can't remember which one it is, but I'm going to get that one too. But yeah, Coach Dream. And the bottle is just so cute. Let me see if I can show you how it sprays out. Where's the little nozzle? Because I do not want to spray myself in the eye. Oh, right here. Can y'all see that? So pretty. See how I just did that? But it's just like a natural habit. But don't do that, y'all. Let it naturally dry down. See, this has some lemon in it, some lemon notes. Oh, it's so pretty. I can see you wearing this to the pool. That's it, to the pool on the beach. Oh, my goodness. To the pool, the beach, somewhere around water. Because it smells so fresh and light, but floral. But I smell some lemon undernotes. I'm telling you, I need to do an updated, um, detailed videos about this. Next, no introduction. She's my absolutely favorite. And although it's a more warmer scent, I had to throw in one that I'll probably be utilizing probably at night. Like, I don't be out. I like, I don't club. I don't, but I do go out, you know. But this is my Versace Crystal Nior. I absolutely, I don't know if y'all can see it, but I have literally a drop left. Y'all probably, y'all probably cannot. Y'all can see it. Y'all see that? Here's the top. Here, I have a little drop. I love this. This is like the most warmest, sweetest fragrance that will have somebody be like, what are you wearing? It's underrated. Like people don't talk about it enough. This is a good, good scent. Y'all, I wish I could smell it. Ooh. Oh, it just makes you, it's like a, like the hubby say, a penny dropper. Y'all, it's good, and I like it for, I, I, I was wearing it at, at the, in the daytime and at night. But y'all, I had to throw this one in my favorite for this because it's just, y'all, it's just good. Oh, my God, y'all. It's good. You need this. If you don't get nothing else, this and my YSL Leray are two I will always have in my collection. Y'all better stop stop making it because I will always have it in my collection. And the only reason I haven't bought more yet is because I have so many other ones to pick from. But this is, a, this is, this is just hands down my favorite. Okay, so I have two of my Dolce & Gabbana's. Uh, fragrances so i have the one in the 
I think this is the garden. Yeah, this is the garden and this is the shine. Now, um, I bought myself this for, well, I had something achievement in my life and I bought this for myself and I got the smallest bottle. I forgot to tell you that. Um, okay, so these two were actually blind buys, I believe. When I first got this one, this was on sale at CVS after Christmas for $9. And this was an $80 bottle. And I was like, oh, it's a Dolce & Gabbana or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and buy it because I love fragrances that much. Didn't know what it smelled like. Nothing. I just know it was on sale for $9. Y'all, this smells really, really good. Like, although I don't use her a lot, she's very, very pretty. She's very, very light. And you can really layer this with a lot of your Bath of Body Works um, body mist um, that has some form of floral or I'm trying to see if I remember my notes. Definitely floral. Peony. That's what I'm trying to say. Peony, floral notes. Or something. Kind of the same with this. I like these both. They're very light. They're very pretty. This is more of a lighter a lighter scent. Um, and this has, I think this has more oil in it, the garden. Yeah, I cannot see for nothing to wear. This is how I know I need to go back to the eye doctor because even though I have on glasses, I still can't see. Um, but yeah, these are definitely two that I will recommend as well. The Dolce & Gabbana Garden. Like they have several ones. I think they have Dolce & Gabbana Garden, Shine, and some of I want I want all of them. I think it's two more. And um, yeah, so I think this is lighter. Let me just try because I don't want to get y'all wrong information. I don't need nobody in my comment to me. Oh, now you wrong like you a fragrance concierge or whatever. Because I used to work for a perfume company. And that's what really made me fall in love with the um the products. When I work for, I always been into fragrances like body sprays, lotions, and such. But I really, really fell in love with fragrances after working for uh, um, a company that sold all the fragrances. I'm not gonna say they name. Yeah, they limit. See, I I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is more lighter. This is another one I would probably recommend on the beach or somewhere around water. Coach Dream. And it's Dolce and Gabbana Shine because it's more, it's not overpowering and it's not like, you know, just say hypothetically you were on a yacht or a, a boat or whatever. It's, your fragrance with the wind is not going to be making folks be like, that with the water or whatever is too much. You Y'all get what I'm saying. Don't make me seem like I'm crazy now. You know what I'm saying? You know, the smell of water, the sea, um, the pollution. I don't think you'll have a bad kickback with these. Yeah, this these two will be great if you're going to be on the beach, the pool, on a boat and such. And then lastly is the Dolce & Gabbana Garden. I'm going to just spray it right here. I don't think I sprayed enough. Yeah, it's more stronger. It, this is very, very pretty too. This is where you wear... You know, out, like I said, with your girls, brunch, date, early date with your hubby, your boo thing, your side piece or whatnot, whatever. Very, very pretty. Not nothing overpowered. Now, you might not get a lot of compliments when this, depending on your body chemistry, but you can layer this. You can definitely layer this because, like I said, I layered this with, like, a lot of my Bath & Body Works. Um, Even though I wear my Bath & Body Works products at night. But if I'm just running up to the corner store, I don't want to wear my good stuff. That's just, that's just to me, that's just redundant. Um, but I have layered this with the Bath and Body Works, especially with the body creams. If it has like notes of floral and yes, I can tell you right now. Oh y'all, I think I'm gonna do that one day. I think I'm gonna do a video where I'm gonna put my fragrances with a Bath & Body Works, and I'm not necessarily saying that they're a dupe for it, but I'm going to say they complement each other. And I think I need to stress that 
a lot. So nobody won't be like, no, nah, I ain't no do for that. Because I know how social media gets. And I'm just, I'm that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, it's a nice marriage, if you will. Like, just say, I have this stuff sitting right here. So just keep up. I have this. This is my newest fragrance. This is the Gingham Vibrant Body Cream and Body Sprays. I would just say, oh, that matches. I didn't do that intentionally. I didn't do that intentionally. I would say this complements this. It's a nice marriage. You know, like it'll help your longevity of your scent because you're doing a lot of layering. Y'all get what I'm saying? Because, you know, y'all girls be over here on the end there. Y'all be swinging. Y'all be, woo, honey. I be like, I'm just here for educational purposes. A lot of this stuff is just my personal experience. You know, that's one thing I can't stand is cyberbullying. Like, I just cannot stand it. Off to subject time. But, yeah, these are my fragrances that I will be utilizing. For the spring and summer. My good old faithful. So, yeah. Oh, I didn't let this video get real long. So, yeah. So, hopefully when we get back in there, we'll have some breakfast, y'all. I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Oh. Breakfast was good. I didn't even eat all my breakfast. Hubby always over cook. I don't know what's this done got on my glasses. For the amount of money I pay for these glasses, they have been a pain in the butt. Like, they just don't be giving. This is why I'm excited. I can't tell y'all and talk about it right now, but I'm excited to be getting new frames and working with this company. So yeah, like I said, breakfast was good. I didn't even eat all my food because I have to eat because I'm taking medication. Other than that, I would not eat. I don't like breakfast. I mean, I don't say I don't like it. It's just not my choice of meal. If I could just skip straight to lunch, then be okay. I hope that's clean, because I would hate to have to pull out all my fl flutes uh, solution, I guess. Okay, so, <clears throat> I don't got to hurry. This vlog, excuse me, y'all, that was so rude. I need to go back brush my teeth. Um, I need to go ahead and get this vlog done, edit, and all that good stuff, because I got some stuff I need to do. This is going to just be a daily vlog, because, yeah, like I said, with all this stuff, other... I'm not prepared. Normally, I have my videos three days in advance, sometime week in advance. This week, I just had so much on my mind. But I know next week, because I'm working on organizing my cabinets. I know that's next week's video. And I may or may not do my sugar scrub for today. So, we'll see. Depending on how long. I don't want it to be too, too long. But if that's the case, y'all, y'all will see it next week. But right now, I'm about to share with you guys what I picked up. Um, yeah, in a few days. But well, I didn't physically go and get it. The hubby did. I was just on FaceTime. But I do have some stuff from um, Amazon. Not much. Okay, from Amazon. I don't know if I ever told y'all I had this pill container. And I got one from Shein. I think one from the Dollar Tree. I think one from Amazon. I don't think I got one from Amazon. No, not that one. The one I got from Amazon is, is okay. It's like a PLK. But I was needing some for daily use that has the days on it, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, however. Okay, I got me a two-pack PLK. I didn't realize it came in two-pack till it came. I didn't read the description well. I just knew it was pink, and it had... Let me get out this paper. Excuse the rattling, y'all. Like I said, it did come with two, and it was fairly inexpensive. I make sure to leave everything down below. Like I said, anytime I do a video, I always make 
make sure y'all check the description box for whatever for discount codes because I'm working with a lot of new companies. My Amazon storefront, um, Timu, Javi Coffee. Y'all check those out uh, because I'm always constantly getting coupon codes from companies. Even though I might not have done a video for that, y'all check it out. And I'm always putting new products in my Amazon storefront. Okay, so I wanted a pill case to have these. And I don't know what the... I know what it's for, but I don't want to butcher the name. And I don't want to be disrespectful to the disabled. But y'all know. Y'all get it. Y'all get it. Can y'all see? See how it has those bumps? It has that in it. And then it has the days. Because a lot of my pill cases was having it stamped on and they will rub off you know what i'm talking about it will rub off and i don't know which one you know what day it is so i needed something that was raised that couldn't um uh, come off so two came in here very slim and very compact um one is by my bedside i put on my pillow and this is what i'm gonna do another one to take with me in my hospital bag i will be using that juicy couture duffel bag that i shared on my um instagram as my hospital bag because the color is pretty much the same and it's just super cute I believe this was like under five dollars next i just got this super cute hello kitty card holder didn't need it just wanted because it, it was hello kitty but y'all this is another good deal and i've had this in my cart for quite some time but i just didn't want to hit the button i don't know why i don't know if it's the price but it ended up going on sale and i was like oh that's a good deal for that because i believe it was like under six dollars or under seven dollars so it has a cute Hello Kitty face with three, um, no, two, two slots, um, right here. And it has a window, um, slot right here for your ID, but I won't be carrying that. This is going to be more so just like an overflow of my cards, maybe like gift cards and stuff when I do a cute Hello Kitty thing bag or whatever. And it comes on this lanyard, which I don't like the fact that the pinks are too shade so i will be detaching this lane and putting it on my keys because it actually match my keys but look at cute hello kitty face right here so like i said come with a lanyard and you could detach that so i'm gonna go ahead and detach that because after i'm through with it, i'm gonna put this where i want to place it at with all my other hello kitty stuff and then i'm gonna put this on my keys because she matches my keys so yeah and this it's a thick ribbon. I think it'll hold up. Probably over a while, it'll start to fray because it's just a ribbon. It's not like that Velcro, nylon, or whatever that stuff is they normally lanyards would come in. Or do they? Okay, here's a... Well, I don't know. I think anything you use a lot will start to show wear and tear. Nothing is forever. But I just thought that was super cute. So, yeah. That's what I got from Amazon. So if you're interested, check it out. I always put cute girly stuff in my Amazon storefront stuff that I have never seen anybody talk about or show or whatever. So y'all check it out because sometimes I'll be surprised myself what's all on Amazon. Um, like I said, got some stuff from Burlington. The hubby called me one day and he was like, um, uh, well, I asked him to go to Burlington because I'm still looking for that pink wallet. He didn't find it. But he ran into the clothes section. He's so sweet. He's sweet when he want to be, honey. Um, and he, he found me some cute Hello Kitty t-shirts. And I'm so excited. Let me. Okay. One, two. It should be three. Oh, okay. So if I. So if you have seen this on um, Instagram. You already know the excitement. So he got me this gray one that has Hello Kitty on it. Riding a skateboard. Super cute. Hope y'all can see that. And it's in a size extra large. I think I talked about that last time. How I didn't think I was going to be able to squeeze an extra large. It's a snug, honey. Because the sister girls right here just so pronouncing duel. But yeah, it's a squeeze. But I got away. I'm a rocket. $7.99. Super cute. You can wear these with some leggings. In my case, like biker shorts would be the ideal. But this shirt is really fitting, you guys. So I'm gonna have to find a way to make it cute and flattering because we can't be out here in this pink, these pink streets looking a fool. Next one, he picked up this cream color one, and it has Hello Kitty and Friends all over it. 
Let me see who these is. My Melanie, Hello Kitty, Pump Pump Periri, Karomi. Is that Tuxi? It's a lot of, I know who they are, but I just can't think of their name. And it has this really shade, like coral color pink um, lettering. So I have a lot of bags. Well, do I have a lot of bags? I don't think I have no pink. A juicy, a pink lemonade juicy bag would be really, really cute with that. Just to be cute and different. Same size. Same price. So I got that one. And y'all, when he on the FaceTime, he's the worst person to FaceTime. Because he be up looking at the ceiling, looking at the floor. You be like, what's the... Wait a minute, slow down. What's that? What's that? Because I was getting dizzy. Next, he got this. This probably got to be my favorite. This is so cute. So it said, hello, kitty. And she has palm trees in the back in her little car. And some sprinkles or whatever. It looks like she in California or whatever. But she just super cute. I can appreciate that purple color. Same price, same size. So, and they are all Sanrio products. So I'm excited about that. Okay, and last of Burlington, y'all. Here's a receipt. Y'all remember last week when I actually went into Burlington myself? I told y'all and showed y'all the wallet I had put back. Excuse that bag, y'all. I'm so sorry. It was still there. <laughs> I actually had him go look for that wallet for me that I was looking for. But he didn't find it. But this was put back on the shelf, y'all. I was shocked when he showed me this. And I'm like, that's the one I put back because it was only one. Y'all, and they still had a lot of the Speedy Style bags. um, The black and the pink one. The taffy color. They had some. <clears throat> left behind, but it's one that I, I'm going back and get. But yeah, this is the one I put back, so I told her to pick it up for me. This is a very, very different style wallet. I have not seen Juicy come out with before, but I do like the accordion style right here, and I like the big um logo right here in gold. Like, I hope it don't come out. It looks like it's clasped on there, so it won't come out, but it's embossed. And what is called the D Boss Taffy. So it's D Boss or E Boss? Okay, D Boss Taffy Cool Collar Bifold. That's what they called it. Originally $35, but we paid $9.99. Such a good deal. So I just thought this was different. It does have that little key ring hook on there, but I would not be putting keys on that. So here's the inside. So you have one, two card holders right here, zip pop for your coin. Slip pocket right here for maybe coupons, receipts, or whatnot. More card spaces right here. One, two, three, and another slip pocket right here. But the slip pocket right here is not as wide as this one. You see what I'm saying? It's not as wide. So you could put more cards right here. But I don't personally don't like my wallet to be bulky, so I'll probably put paper instead of cards. And plus, I don't have a lot of cards with me that's not important. Like, we have extra cards, but if they're not cards, I need to be using Like, just say, for instance, if I got a PayPal card, but I ain't got nothing in my PayPal account, I ain't gonna carry it that day. And I ain't looking for nobody to send me nothing. And if they gonna send me something, they gonna have to just wait, because... I use PayPal for business purposes. Um, so, yeah, that's a little bit more thicker. This is where the accordion part come into play. And then you have your part right here for your cash. So, I really do like this um, wallet. Um, yeah. And at first, I thought it was going to have a pocket in the back, which would have been really, really good. But that's just, the, the, you know, part of the design. So, if you run across this, I recommend her. Because she's just so cute. Because even if you don't want to carry your bag, you can carry this in the store and be good. Because she's very much functional. She got a place where you can put your keys, you know. So, yeah. $9.99. $9.99 or whatever. So, all right, you guys. I think I have said enough for today. I got some, like I said, I need to do. I wanted to talk about my scrubs and how I'm going to organize it. But I think I'm going to save that 
uh, for next week because I want to give y'all something every Wednesday for us. My pink content, whether it's talking about fashion or whatever or things I picked up. But I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys have truly, truly enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. I hope y'all all have an amazing day. Talk to you later.